Welcome back to Mike Saunders Basement. I'm Mike Saunders, and uh, we're going to talk more about the Tyler Shade versus Tyler Watt saga. We, you know, they finally had their match, so we're going to get right into that. All well, the match was about 10 minutes, but, um, you know, I'll show you the entrances, and then here's uh, some highlight clips. So then the announcer goes to leave. So the match starts and they immediately go into like fucking twisty turnip shit. They're just twisting each other's turnips here. And then, you know, Watts gets out of it. He flips the old shade on the boy. Kicks him in the knee and then puts it on the ankle. Put the ankle on him. Oh! I don't know what you call this move, but I don't think it's effective. What is this? Tyler Watts, he has that OECW championship in his hands, but this is not a no disqualification matchup. I fucking love that dead drop. So then the amazing Oscar, or Oscar the Amazing, the, the owner, comes out and he's like, hey, this is going to be a you can fall anywhere match or pin anywhere match, which was already established. Like, that's what they build the match as. Like, I don't understand. <laughs> This match is now a false count anywhere. I believe I heard so correctly. This match was now a false count anywhere match. Imp Watts brings Shade like all the way over to the bathroom, opens the door, and throws this motherfucker right in. Someone clearly has not been turning off the AC or the heat, just letting that shit run all night in this big old fucking room. And then the fucking crowd, like, as soon as they get him out of there, the crowd starts chanting, watch your hands. I currently see, this is a very hectic night of professional wrestling. I couldn't agree more. Right? I think might have been a tool. And then uh, this man mountain, this human gorilla, just comes up out of nowhere. And he's like, yo, let me distract Watts for a second so you can pin him. You would think so. Wait a minute, roll up, Tyler Shade. The cover, false count anywhere, rules two, three. Tyler Shade. This part's great because the fucking, the microphone isn't hooked up or they have it turned off and they're trying to figure it out and they can't fucking get it going. So then Haas comes out and he's like, you won't be able to fight my guy. Then Kobe Cheese Jenkin comes out and says, we're going to do a career versus career match next time. Mr. Oscar Amazing, or the Amazing Oscar, he's the guy who owns Majestic uh, Championship Wrestling. Fourth match, Tyler Shade laid down a challenge for an Extreme Rules match against Tyler Watts. So I'm going to go ahead and make that official. So... Battle of the Tylers 2, Extreme Rules. You can't miss that one either. It's going to be one hell of a fight as well. Kinzer Kill will be in his corner. You never know what they have in their, up their sleeve. And then there's new promo videos. Here's Tyler Shade. It's been a couple weeks of me really not wanting to make this video because I think it's a waste of time. But after consulting with my business partner and my manager, we agreed that I need to say something. Back in May, I had a match with Tyler Watts. A match that I won, mind you. And he somehow has the balls to grab a microphone and challenge me to a career versus career match. So, Tyler, I'll give you the rematch you want. 
But this time, I pick the stipulations. And what I want is I want you in an extreme rules match. And then the other Tyler. I want to make one thing very, very clear. That career versus career match will never, ever, ever happen between me and you. You don't deserve it. Plus, I already have that opponent signed and a date signed for that. Then you want to talk about how you beat me? You're right, you did. I give you props. You timed it just right. You picked your spot. Can't get mad at you. I'd have done the exact same thing. But also remember, you had a little help in that process. Then, you want to challenge me to an Extreme Rules match. See, that's fine. I, I'll accept your little challenge. I'll see you June 16th. And it's kind of interesting. I wonder if he saw my other video because this time it's, a, you know, the light's on. So that's pretty much it for this episode of Mike Saunders' Basement. Uh, I just want to say, this is what I fucking love about wrestling. Uh, this kind of shit. If you want to see the full match, I'll put the link down there, right down in there. The link's going to be down in there. In